So I'm going to talk about two photographs in particular from the set that was presented to King George V by the photographer Herbert Ponting. In this set of photographs, Ponting chose a photographic process called the carbon print. And this process meant that he could introduce different colour tones, different pigments into the printing process. He did this because he wanted to capture something of the atmosphere of being in Antarctica. Now, there were certain icebergs, certain ice caverns that, that Ponting was particularly drawn to. And this photograph here uh, is probably his best known photograph. And it shows one of those ice caverns that he returned to over and over again. This photograph was taken in January 1911, so it's right at the beginning of the time that Ponting spent in Antarctica. When he first found this ice cavern, Ponting was immediately struck by its sculptural qualities. From the outside, though, it was a fairly dull in terms of the colour content. It was white, it was very bright, but when he stepped inside, Ponting and Scott also were struck by the colours that reflected in the ice. They talked about it being a symphony of greens and purples and blues. So what Ponting has tried to do through the printing process is to capture something of that colour. The carbon print process was a very labour-intensive, handcrafted process, and it involved several layers being pressed down on top of each other, and then a single pigment could be introduced into this printing process. Theoretically, this means you could introduce almost any colour. It could be orange, red, green or blue. But in fact, practically, it usually was the pigments that were produced commercially. And for Ponting, the blues and greens that were produced commercially captured exactly those colours that he encountered in the ice. Now, the thing that makes this photograph particularly dramatic and has helped us achieve the iconic status that it has as an image of Antarctic exploration is not just the colour that he introduced, but it's also the sculptural quality that he's managed to capture in this. It's this extraordinary teardrop shape that Ponting and the camera are looking through, and in the distance, they've managed to capture the Terra Nova, the ship that brought them to Antarctica. And Ponting has framed it so that the rest of the iceberg is pushing up against the side of the frame. It's a very modern sculptural composition. It's very different to the Edwardian landscapes that you see in some of his other photographs. And this is really, I think, the moment when Ponting starts to change as a photographer. His time in Antarctica changes the way he sees the landscape, and the landscape is forcing him to change his photographic vision. This photograph exemplifies that perfectly.